In this interview post, we're continuing with the analogy in relation to the mind as a factory. Now, what has to be understood here is that in our minds, our factory, we are producing within it good products and bad products. The good products being that which that within our minds, which we experience to be positive, and bad products being that within our within our minds, which we experience to be um, negative. In human consciousness, not seeing, realizing, and understanding that both the good and the bad products are being produced within the same factory that is the mind, that is consciousness, that thus utilize the same relationship to our beingness and our physical body in resourcing energy from and of it, and thus sacrificing our beingness and physical body for those or such products uh, to exist, for those or such energy experiences as both the positive and the negative to exist. I mean, it's the same within this physical existence. You know, you get factories, businesses, corporations that produce good products and bad products. Sometimes you have it within the same company that can produce um, you know, the same range of products where some of them are good and others are bad. But what does not change is such systems relationship to the physical environment, to the animal kingdom, to nature, to the earth. I mean, the earth, animal kingdom, I mean, even human lives are being sacrificed for these products to be created, whether they're good or bad. And this goes the same within our minds, in consciousness, our factory, in which we exist and participate in and produce our good and bad products. Where the product itself, as what we participate in within our minds, is positive or negative, in the root relationship of consciousness or the mind to our beingness in the physical body remains exactly the same. And within this, you know, how we have within, I mean, exactly as it is within the world system, within the money system, you know, everyone is chasing after the good products, uh, that which they experience a positive relationship toward. And the bad products, that which they have a negative experience toward, is uh, being suppressed or thrown out or, um, you know, distributed into various directions or reconstituted into various materials, all of it in some way or another ending up as waste, as pollution, both within the process of uh, making the good products and the bad products, it has the consequence of pollution. It has the consequence of the sacrifice to the physical. And within this, the only difference then is, is that the good products are used more than the bad products. And it's even fascinating within this as well, that in this world system, this money system, the more you align yourself to the good products or the better products or the best products that also define your personality, your presentation of yourself and your hierarchy in social class, for example. And it's interesting how we do this in our minds as well, in that we have the good products, bad products, both polluting our beingness, our physical bodies, with information, with resonance, with presence, with experience, separating ourselves from our beingness, from the physical body, um, that in both instances it requires resourcing, sacrificing from our beingness and physical body to produce the energy. And so what we do for our uh, internal social class in our own minds is we push ourselves to align ourselves to only the good products that we create, that which we 
experience or defined to be positive and the negative we attempt and try and suppress or hide um, or throw away or discard or reconstitute uh, again turning into a form of waste within our mind beingness and physical body relationship and so here as well I mean as we have explained in previous posts within our blogs we get to the determining factor of a value and in the external world system money system uh, it's fascinating that all of that which is deemed to be good products you know the best better and um, how human beings have more of a positive energy experience in relation to those products is that the good products, the best products, the better ones, you know, the real elitist products that will catapult you into the higher social classes and being noticed and, uh, you know, really being in the limelight within society or this world system or money system, those products actually cause the most consequence to humans' lives, animals, the environment, uh, nature, the earth, because a lot more physical substance or uh, physical resources is being used to be able to produce, create, and manifest those particular uh, best or better or good products. And what is deemed to be the bad products not so good, but you know, do their practical functional job. They don't necessarily use as much physical resources to produce them or create them or manifest them. And it's interesting that this same relationship exists in our minds, in that the good products, that which we experience in our minds to be positive, um, the positive thoughts, back chats, imaginations, uh, fantasies, feelings, that positive actually resource the most energy from our beingness and physicals and therefore actually create the most consequence in our beingness and physical bodies. The negative products, the negative energy experiences and that which we have a negative energy experience relationship to within our minds, I mean that doesn't resource as much energy from our beingness in physical body and this we had already explained within previous posts within this blog in absolute detail with regards to how the positive is in fact positive energy is in fact an accumulation of negative energy where at the root source of consciousness relationship to the physical body is done through friction and conflict and that friction and conflict relationship as energy is resource from physicality is negative. And then the more negative energy is accumulated, it accumulates into the positive, and that is what positive energy is. It's just an accumulation of negative energy. So as within, so without. The positive that we participate in within our minds is actually the most consequential to our beingness and physical body. So also in the external reality, you know, the good, better, best products are actually using and creating uh, the most physical resources and consequences within this physical reality. And so here we, for example, have the consumerism system within ourselves and within this world and reality where it's fascinating that when you really look at it in our minds, you know, we're creating our own consumerism system in the sense that we're like literally consuming ourselves and participating within and as ourselves in that uh, the positive products that we create, that we participate in, the thoughts, emotions, feeling, the thoughts, feelings, um, memories, imaginations, projections, things like that, that is basically like parts of ourselves 
that we like and the negative products that is created or manifested are the parts of ourselves that we dislike and within this how we would then only want to participate in that which is positive because um, you know that in turn gives us a positive energy experience and how we would then consume essentially only the positive products that is created in the factory of our minds not realizing that we're in fact consuming ourselves as consciousness or the mind is simply the systematized version of our inherent beingness or nature and now we've completely split ourselves into good products and bad products um, and you know the same exists in this physical existence we're consuming ourselves we're consuming physicality we're consuming um, that which is in fact producing or providing natural life and living in this physical existence for what for products that have been determined by a particular specific value to according to that value uh, establish for ourselves into a certain social or hierarchical class or definition or character or personality within this life experience in this world in this reality where for those products to exist uh, physical reality this physical existence is being sacrificed I mean it doesn't make sense our existence in any way whatsoever and so within this we obviously have to look at okay what is the solution because this is quite a problem in that you know human beings only attain to the positive in a relationship or in a context of positive energy the positive products internally in our minds and then the best or better or elitist products externally in the world system or money system and it's interesting what happens within this process is that um, the consequence outflow of what the positive products create uh, within our minds and within the world system or money system is not seen uh, or recognized or considered or regarded in any way whatsoever I mean everyone becomes so um, tunnel visioned in reaching or attaining or having a relationship with only the positive products or the good products or better or best products and you know all the rest of the products that are being created are like simply ignored and yet those negative or bad products in our minds and within this physical existence are not just going away they're very much still here so there's actually like uh, two definitive um, points that are being ignored the extent of the consequence of the positive products on our beingness and physical body as well as within this physical existence and then the negative or bad products that's being created in our minds and in this physical existence is just kind of being ignored or disregarded and the extent to which uh, this thus illustrate the split within which we exist you know go for the good or positive and stay away from the bad or negative but both are representative of ourselves of our beingness of um, our inherent nature uh, within ourselves and then humanity as a collective as a whole so within this we again get back to the point of self-consequence in that I mean we're never going to sort out our inherent nature our inherent beingness as human beings and how we're existing within ourselves or coexisting as humanity if we don't face or direct or sort out or really look into the bad products that we are creating and as well as investigating 
the consequence of the good products, that which we have positive energy experiences to and towards. I mean, everyone is always only looking at the end result, the end product. You're not looking at how the thing was actually produced, created, and manifested, and the consequences that were involved within it. I mean, we get into this physical existence. You know, you've got all of your uh, really elitist uh, labels, and this goes for clothes, uh, accessories, to food, um, to shoes, to homes, to land, to, I mean, everything... Uh, that exists in this physical existence there you know there's a hierarchy of labels in terms of what's the best and what's the worst and within this you know everyone is just looking at going to um, getting or having or owning or possessing the best and you know obtaining it but never going farther in terms of seeing okay but what was involved for me to be able to have or get this best product and so we have this relationship in our minds as well i mean we don't question where this best product this positive thing that's coming up in my mind really coming from how or what was involved for this positive energy to be created uh, where does the positive energy come from? Um, what is its relationship to my physical body? Um, you know, there is really an exceptional amount of evil within and behind that which is deemed to be positive or the best in relation to products, both within our mind and within this world system or money system. And one could simply have a look at one's research within the documentaries that are available uh, within this world in really seeing the consequences that were involved in creating the best or better or good products within the world system and money system. They have in fact created the most consequence. Um, and it's no different within the relationship to your mind as well. I mean, those positive products or things or experiences that you attain to in your mind is great evil existent within and behind it. Evil being the definition of evil from the perspective of the extent of consequence. And we have also explained this relationship within um, posts within this blog. And I mean, that's why... It is important to walk through this blog from day one um, because a lot of what we've already walked we will mention in interview posts or posts to come. Like for example how we've in detail explained how positive energy is an accumulation of negative energy and how and why it in fact creates the most consequence both within ourselves and this world in reality. So this means that um, positivity or positive energy is most certainly not the solution to ourselves, our inherent nature or beingness or humanity and this physical existence. Uh, neither is the negative. I mean, both are in their own way creating an equal measure of consequence. And... So therefore comes the question, okay, but what is the solution? And this we will get into in the next interview, in how to change your mind, your self-relationship to you, the physical body and this physical existence as a whole, as essentially becoming a tree. That you have to shut down the factory creating the products of the positive and the negative, and instead plant a tree. Uh, utilizing the bolding material, if you will, of the factory of your mind that you have broken down uh, brick by brick, point by point, relationship by relationship, and get all your workers as yourself in your mind into planting and growing and tending to 
the tree of and as life that will slowly but surely emerge as you. So we will look at that interesting analogy in terms of more understanding the destiny process in relationship to the mind, consciousness, and energy. Thank you very much.